We're talking about Man United at the moment because uh, yesterday Manchester United hammered Wayne Rooney's Derby County side <clears throat> 2-1 in their pre-season friendly. After the game, TalkSport's James Savundra spoke to the Derby boss and United legend about his former club's targets this season. To the United fans, I'm sure they'll be excited with um, Sancho coming in. I'm sure there'll be one or two more who, who come in. So um, I know that club very well. The expectations... Um, they'll have on themselves, the expectations the fans will have on them is to, to be successful and I think to a year which Oli will be looking at and, and really having a, a good shot at winning the Premier League. Interesting as well to see Ravel Morrison training with Derby as well. What a, what a player he should have been. What a player he should have been. But you never no, know, How many maybe times are you going to say that? Well, well, she had 11 clubs in 12 seasons or something Very ridiculous, sad. isn't it? I mean... A bit of a genius, so I'm led to believe Well, that. if he gets it out of him, right? Rooney takes a lot of stick, doesn't he? Um for his short time in management at Derby because where they ended up I mean it, the finish the season was terrible uh, towards the end that run that went on yeah, I mean, just about beat the drop. yeah so he's took a lot of stick and he's got a lot to prove this year and it's going to be very difficult again someone that's learning on the job in a very difficult situation at Derby with money problems transfer problems players he's going to have to bring in bargain basement and he's expected to do a job because he's Wayne Rooney. And he's similar to Solskjaer. He's come in to Manchester United, really, when he got the job purely because he played there and that feel-good factor. That's why he got the job, isn't it? Same mm -hmm. as Lampard, really, at, at Chelsea, right? So he's going to go in there, but he's expected to win stuff because it's Manchester United. It's <laughs> very difficult to learn on the job. It is, very, very it difficult. is. Let's, uh, let's go to the phone line, shall we? I'm looking, it's Liverpool fans that want to have this. Come on, United fans, pick up the phone. Back me up here. 08717 Lee's first up. Hello, Lee. Hi, are you all right? I'm good. What are you doing in the sun this afternoon? Are you enjoying it or are you working? I'm working, unfortunately. Mm. I hope you've got air con in where you are now. <laughs> I have, in the car, oh, yeah. Oh, good boy, very good boy. So, go on then, Lee, you've phoned up to tell us why, even though you're a Liverpool fan, Man United can win the title, I'm guessing, or not? Um, <laughs> quite the opposite. Oh, well, there's a so, surprise. Basically, I was going to pick you up on the fact you kept saying, obviously, they finished second. They did. I'll give them that. But they were five points behind Liverpool, who had probably one of our worst seasons in ages because of injuries last year. So, you know, when you see the gap between Manchester United, where they finished, and Man City, mm. you know, there's a massive, massive gap to go. And also, tactically, I'm not trying to knock Solskjaer. He's probably a lovely guy, but he's nowhere near Pep or Klopp. Lee, um, let yeah. me ask you a question. I can't, I can't disagree with the, the tactical side of things. Let me ask you a question. If you've got a team full of great, great players, can they win yeah. it alone? Or do you need that great manager? Uh, and I don't know the answer. I'm not asking you, Lee. I personally think you need that great manager. I think you need the the, the coaching, the ongoing sort of guidance, telling them when they're you know losing. But you look at Pogba, could be one of the world's best players in the world, but he just seems to lose focus and just almost seems petulant at times. Yeah, well, that's because uh, he's not got Kante or Conte, whatever his name is, alongside him. That's the reason. I mean, no one's no one's got a tune out of him at United, have they? No, exactly. And he could be so amazing. He reminds me of what's his name. He was um, played for Man City all that time. Um, went to Liverpool for a bit. Um, always me. I forgot his name. Balotelli. Yeah, Balotelli. He reminds me of him in how he gets sort of like petulant at times. But yeah, you know they've got all the ingredients. I just think, and I, I'm not, I'm not trying to knock him. Mm. I just think that he probably needs another two or three years in sort of football management before he got the Man U job. But. You know, I'll probably get slated for saying that. No, listen, I think a lot of people, realistically, if they're going to be honest and not just Manchester United fans who want to have them on, think we're having a dig at Manchester United. We're not. I, I like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and I hope he really does well. I hope they go on and win the title at some point. But do you? I think do it, I do, yeah. I do. I think it's... It, but I, I feel for him in a little way. Well, it's, it's both ways. He was very lucky to get the job, Right because of his connections with Manchester United. So they give him an opportunity. With a club he'd been at, Mulder, let, let's be honest about this, yeah. right? So he was very lucky to get the job. But getting it, he's going to get a free ride for a, a little bit because it's Manchester United. They like to stay loyal to the managers. But if he doesn't, if he doesn't deliver this season, he will be gone. Let, let's be straight about it, though.
Let, let, let's be straight. What's, it's got what's to deliver. Well, delivers? it's got to deliver. Is he going to win? It can't just keep going another season. What will it be without winning something now if they don't win okay, it again? Let me ask you this. Can an average manager win the Premier League? Well, I'm sure I'm sure they can do it at some point. I mean... I'm thinking Pellegrini was the last average manager. Last one that came to a club. Oh, would you say Leicester when they won it? Well, I think... The surprise a factor there. Well... Yeah, at that stage of his career management, early doors, he was doing well. So it can be, be done. It should be point. like Benitez coming back and winning the title. Yeah, but he's done it, been there, seen it. Pellegrini well, had the, no history whatsoever. Yeah, the Pellegrini one. But he, like I say, yeah. So it can be done. It can be done, yeah. With great players. And he's got great players, but it does need a little bit of management there. <laughs> but, okay, I think with the staff he's got behind him, the fact that you know he's a United legend, the fact that the, the players do play for him, a little bit like they do with Southgate for England. But is the staff. Beside him, the right people. Well, I think. I mean, that's we, the point. I, I think, think you look so. at the old picture. Got Mike the old Fielder picture. there. He knows exactly what it's like to bring a trophy or two to Old Trafford. Used to Ma- Michael Carrick. Knows. Used to. Well, anyone in that position is going to be used to. Well, it's not. Could be somebody who's had success somewhere else. Oh, I'm talking it? about United, though. Yeah, it was a long time ago, and he has. He's got a good pedigree from when he's been there in the past, mm. and. But it's almost like they've gone back to it, thinking that's going to be the be all and end all. Okay, let's take more calls in it, shall we? 087 Come on, United fans, I need to back it up. This is Drive on Talk Sport with WeBuyAnyCar.com. There's now over 375 branches nationwide. Find your closest now.